I welcome you once again. You are welcome into this great channel. If you are today is your first time, I welcome you and uh, I'll advise you to go ahead and subscribe so that if you are a lover of, of, lover of truth, if you love truth, you can go ahead and uh, subscribe so that you can go, you can always receive the new videos anytime it comes out and touch the notification bell so that you will always be the first to receive a new video. All right, so and I, I welcome you. I thank you so much for being here. I am talking now about what God revealed to me about T.D. Jax. T.D. Jax ministry. God gave me this revelation so many times, but I I did not talk about it, but God kept bringing it to me, so I decided that I have to, I have to put it in this video, I have to make it known, because it's not one time, it's not once, not two, it's not three, that I have been receiving this revelation from God. So, this is what God said about T.D. Jakes. God said that I should tell you that the death of a Long, your friend, is supposed to supposed to cause you to change your ways, to, to, to amend your ways. But instead you continue doing what you are doing. He said that the death of Edelon, Edelon is supposed to be an example to you, it's supposed to be a warning to you and to many of you out there in America that is using the name of church, the name of Jesus, the name of Bible, causing havoc and problems and pains to people, causing pollution in that nation. That the death of Ed Long supposed to, Bishop Ed Long supposed to be a warning to all of you, but still many of you still goes on in your trespasses. So God says, I should read this for you. I should read this for you to hear. I want to read this uh, this place that God gave to me. Revelation chapter 2, Revelation chapter 2 from verse 18. And to the angel of the church in Ty, in Ty, Tyra, right? This thing says the Son of God, who has eyes like a flame of fire, and his feet like, like fine brass. I know your works, love, service, faith, and your passion, and uh, and uh, as as for your your works, and as for your works, the last are more than the first. Hmm. Hmm. And as for your works, the last are more than the first. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you because you allow that woman, you allow that woman. Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants to commit sexual immorality, sexual immorality, and eat things sacrificed to idols. And I gave her time to repent of her sexual immorality, and she did not repent. Indeed, I will cast her into a sick bed, and those who commit adultery with her into great tribulation unless they repent of their deeds. I will kill her children with death. I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he who searches the minds and heart. And I will give to each one, each one of you according to your works. The spirit that is moving in your church is sexual immoral, immorality. Sexual immorality is the spirit that is operating in your church. The spirit in your church. The spirit that you yourself is operating with. This is what God said. Sexual immoral, immoral in your church is great. And you encourage that because this is the spirit you are operating with. But God has given a warning. God said, if you do not repent now, if you do not repent now that he is about to visit, God said that he is about to visit you, what I want to visit you, 
is it what you are doing? And I, I said, God, God said, and verse 21, and I gave her time to repent of her sexual immorality, and she did not repent. And indeed, I will cast her into sick bed, into sick bed, and those who commit adultery with her into great tribulation, unless, unless they repent of their deeds. I will kill her children with death. Sexual immorality that God revealed to me in your church, T.D. Jakes, is great. I always see you, even the time the long is still alive, I say, oh God will show me, reveal to me, where you are drinking strong drinks with a long. I just saw it in my vision. How you people are bragging and boasting in evil, in immoral ways, drinking, a, 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 a partying, exalting immorality, and so on. God said that God has been elevating it to me. I said it so many times. But this place I read now is is supposed to think now, T.D. Jakes. Because as I said, as, as, remember I said to you that the death of Bishop Eddie Long is supposed to be example that you are supposed to know that God sees everything. God, people are calling but you don't know him, knows everything. And he's everywhere. Nothing is hidden inside. Nothing is hidden, you know, from our God. So now God has given this warning to you and to all of you able churches in America that he is about to descend and to visit all of you for the evil that you are doing, thinking nobody sees you. I read very clear and you're supposed to understand what God is trying to say. God said, nevertheless, I have a few things against you because you allowed that woman, Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants to commit sexual immoral, immorality and eternal sacrifice to idols. And I gave her time to repent of her sexual immorality and she did not repent. Indeed, I will cast her into a sick bed, and, and those who commit adultery with her into great tribulation, unless they repent of their deeds. I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he who searches the heart, searches the mind and heart, and I will give to each one of you according to your words. God wants to give all of you, everybody, all that you deserve. TDJs, God wants to give you what you deserve. Your members, God wants to give, give them what, what they deserve. Not only you are the church of America and the whole world, God is giving to every man and to every woman what you deserve. But the only thing that we avert the judgment of God is if you hear this and repent and they cry to God. This is what God said to me. God said that I should give it to you, that he is about to give to every man and every woman according to what you deserve sexual immorality in the spirit that is flowing in your church. So I have delivered what God gave to me. As God gave it to me, I have delivered, I have delivered, I have delivered it to you. So it's up to you to decide.